Imagine if I give you a million dollars right now. All of a sudden, you'll find it much easier to start a business, to start a new life, and to get an education. But what if instead of a million, I gave you zero dollars to start with? All of a sudden, everything else is much harder. And that's the case with a lot of people in the world right now who are born with zero dollars or with very few resources. The following video took 1,000 days to make and it's about the humans who beat all the odds and changed their life around. I hope you're ready for this trip around the world. In the country of Myanmar, I saw Ee, -E, the 11 year old girl who lives in poverty. Hi, I'm Ee, -E. I'm 11 years old, I live in Myanmar. To support her family, she became a tour guide and learned four languages on her own just to communicate French. with tourists. French. Hebrew, French. Spanish, Hola. Thai, Sawadika. Chinese, Michal. Japanese. Konnichiwa. You're amazing. Now, she is the sole breadwinner for her entire family and she is only 11. In the slums of South Africa, I saw him po on the side of the street with no money or support system. But I saw him building an actual robot from the trash around him to show that he is capable. Hi, my name is Mpo. I made this robot from trash. This robot now helps Mpo get money from passing tourists and send him to university. On the other side of the world, in China, I saw Wu live as a simple old farmer. But Wu spent years learning how to build incredibly sophisticated robots without even using the internet. <laughs> <laughs> this farmer has become China's Iron Man and is now a lecturer at a local university. He went from farmer to professor. In the United States, I saw Isaiah who grew up poor in Compton, Los Angeles. But thanks to scholarships and his hard work, Isaiah got a pilot's degree to become the world's youngest African American to fly around the United States at the age of 16. And I'm straight out of Compton. Now, he's set to fly around the world and make money from being a pilot. This isn't just people who are rising against the odds, it's also entire communities. In the state of Hawaii, 200 homeless people who lived on the streets got together to start their own town. They built an incredible community with rules, we have strict rules here and zero tolerance policy. 60% of them found jobs and now they're looking to build their own town with real houses. She was homeless, now she's the governor of this community. <laughs> and in the state of India, Dharavi, Mumbai, one of the largest slums in the world is full of poor people but is not empty of entrepreneurs. Everywhere you see on the ground people are working hard. Artists, designers, sculptors have created an informal economy that generates one billion dollars every year from a slum. All of the above stories are so inspiring and they remind me of the words of a wise man who once said, Now is no time to think of what you do not have. Think of what you can do with what there is. See you next week.